Guardian Ministry inspiration video. I'm so glad you stopped by today to check this video out because this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. I'm Minister Smith, better known as Guardian. Amen. Amen. This is the month of December. Oh, a glorious month for us. It's the month we celebrate uh, when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came to us. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I'm titling this message today. The Lord gave me the title of this. I believe. I believe that Jesus came down here and died for all of our sins. Conquered death for us. Amen. And was risen on the third day. Amen. But you know the story when, when Jesus was first born. He was born from a virgin named Mary. Mary was was uh, supposed to be marrying Joseph. And they did get married. But after they got married, Joseph found out that she was pregnant. So during that time, they would take the woman and carry her out and stone them to death. But Joseph, being a just man, wanted to do this himself, wanted to put her away himself. So he took her away from the city to go to do it himself. And the angel of the Lord came to him and let him know not to do it because she was consumed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, the Spirit of God, the three that makes the one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. A part of the Godhead. So after Joseph found out about it, he took her to Bethlehem where Jesus was born. But during that time, there were three wise men, uh, this star, they was following the star that was guiding them to Jesus. And King Harold, during that time, heard about the king of the Jews because it, it was written in prophecies. So he, he heard about the wise man that was in town. So he, they, they came to him and he told, they asked him where was the king of the Jews. And King Harold had found out that he was in Bethlehem. So they went to Bethlehem. He sent them to Bethlehem to find Jesus. And he told him, when y'all find him, come back and let me know so that he could go worship him too. Which we know that wasn't what he planned on doing. He wanted to kill Jesus. Amen. So the wise man left and they went to Jerusalem to find, went to Bethlehem to find Jesus. And they followed the star that guided them straight to the manger where Jesus was born. And they went and worshipped him and gave him gifts. That's why we give gifts at Christmas time. So after they finished worshipping him and, and seeing the king of the Jews, and they left. They supposed to went back to King Harold, but they didn't. They went back to their own country. Amen. Y'all don't heard it. The story the pastors tell this every year about this time. That what makes me believe. Hey, Amen. I believe. And after they left, King Harold found out that they didn't come back. So he sent his soldiers to Bethlehem to find Jesus and told him to kill all of the children from two years old on down. But Joseph had a dream. An angel came to him in a dream and let him know that he had to escape to Egypt. And King Harold's soldiers went into Bethlehem and killed all the children. And, and that was a uh, prophecy too. There will be a time of sorrow, a time of weeping, because all the kids got killed. That was a sad time for them. But Jesus escaped as it was written that he was going to escape. So that's why we have to believe this time of year, Jesus escaped and, and he stayed, had to stay in Egypt 
until Harold died and all those who was trying to kill him. And this is why this time of year we celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who came down here was born of a virgin. I believe. And I know those of you that have heard the story, so I know you believe. So why not during this time of year accepting him as your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, those of you who don't know him and the pardon of your sins. All you have to do is ask him to come into your life to forgive you for your sins. Turn, those of you that have your Bible, turn to me to Romans 10 and 9. Amen. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has risen him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you believe that God has risen him from the dead, if you believe he came down here was born of a virgin birth, you don't heard the story, even when you was a child, over and over again, what's the true meaning of Christmas? And that's Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. So if you believe and if you don't know the Jesus of the pardon of your sin, ask him to come into your life. Start the new year off being a child of God. We are all going through trials and tribulations right now. And, and the, the way the economy is, and the, you, we need all the help we can get. But I'm telling you, me as a living witness, God has shown me when I accepted Jesus as my Savior. He had let me see God in everything, all the blessings that comes my way, all the strength that he gave me when I established that personal relationship with him. And God loves you. And he loves each and every one of you. All you have to do is ask him to come into your life and he will help you through any situation that you're going through today. Amen? Amen. I hope this video will help you out in some kind of way. Ask Jesus to come into your life. He came down here to be born and die, the Lamb of God, just for you. This is why we're celebrating this time of the year. Amen? I'm going to pray. Our Father, Lord, we thank you for sending your only begotten Son, so whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, we thank you for allowing him to come down here and die for all of our sins, Lord. And Lord, we pray right now that you will use this season to grab a hold over to somebody, to open someone's eyes so that they may say, I need Jesus in my life. Amen. Because this is what he come down here for. And this is the reason for the season. And the reason he came here is to lay down his life for all of our sins. Amen. 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 Ask Jesus to come into your life and he will forgive you for all of your sins. This is the reason for the season, people. I hope you have a blessed holiday and I hope you get all the blessings that you ask for. Trust in the Lord and he will help you through anything. Merry Christmas everybody and I love you.